Building our whimsical A-frame cabin has been a complete joy thus far. Today we are working a little bit faster because we are kind of on a time crunch. We need to get the cabin sleep inable for an event. It's really, really wet right now, which is to be expected this time of year. That's part of why we have the cabin up on those little legs. Corey went to get different boots to be able to walk around in this <laughs> watery mess a little bit better without worrying about his feet getting wet. We're gonna put the pea cool in up there. So this is moving very slowly. I just hoisted the board up. It didn't fit, so we brought it down and up and down and up and down, cutting off little by little. And now we're at least probably 10 minutes into this and my arms are just exhausted because those boards are really heavy. So now Corey's installing it. We always have airplanes flying over when we're out here. Um, we just cut the other board and it was way too steep of an angle. The angle was completely wrong, so we're doing that one again. So it was 27 and 19. Right? Yep. Okay, 27. I really don't like this tape measure. And 19. Mm, definitely closer than the other one. Okay, so cut it. Cut it. Dang, you're good. I don't think it's the right angle at all. Okay, so this is supposed to fit up there? Let's go fit up there. We have to cut the bottom? We gotta cut the bottoms. Okay, can I use your glasses again? It's like, is it more safe to not have eye protection or to be <laughs> cutting when everything's a little bit blurry? Just use one eye. <laughs> so you have one safe eye? <laughs> They're gonna be eating us alive in the comments. <laughs> Almost comical. <laughs> what? All the mosquitoes and trying to balance everything yeah. and trying to get up there. I thought it was gonna be a peaceful evening, go outside. I was like really stressed about other things and I just wanted to come relax and work on the cabin. And now the boards aren't fitting. There are mosquitoes and the ladder is dangerous and I don't have my safety glasses and it's muddy. <laughs> Getting eaten alive. Okay, channel my inner zen. And the sun's going down. <laughs> We're running out of daylight. Okay. We are definitely riding the struggle bus. That board also took a really long time. 
but it's really finicky up there at the top and it's hard to work with because you have your hands straight above your head and it's hard to see it's hard to measure the mosquitoes are getting me can you see like they're really getting me um but Corey's cutting the top triangle piece hopefully hopefully that will fit nicely up there for us and then the front face will be done we plan on doing more with this tin to kind of wrap it and make it look finished but for now we're going to finish the front of the cabin and then we're going to start working on the inside of the cabin because we kind of have like a surprise of what we're going to be using this cabin for in a couple weeks and we need to get it to be sleep inable even if it's not perfect we just need like a door and some interior walls we bought some really pretty stuff to make the inside pretty uh, we're not going to be putting the tongue and groove inside the cabin right now for this event but in the future we will be so we're just trying to get this cabin ready for use in like two weeks don't worry we'll let you fall are you sure? <laughs> I could see you just letting me fall. What? No, I wouldn't. Okay. I need a little more off this side. I thought this was going to be the last piece. Not quite? Not quite. It couldn't be? Unless we just shove it a little bit. I think we shove it a little bit. I think this is the last piece. We're going to trim it out anyway, aren't we? Yeah. So. A trim will cover it? Yeah, a trim will cover it. <laughs> That pink cloud is glowing right now. It's hard to tell in the camera, but it's really pretty. Cheating? I don't know if it's cheating or if you're just smart. <laughs> Put a couple <laughs> screws in. It's easy to get to. I think that's just called being smart. Last piece. This is monumental. Just a little bit. Oh, that's way better. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Doesn't want to cut straight. It's tired. Just ripped it. That's okay. I think it looks good. It's definitely a little lopsided, but we can probably round that out a little bit. I think it's decent. Not bad. Oh, Jason. <laughs> see what I'm saying? Let's I think see. if we just like pull that corner up a little bit. Yep. Ta-da! Wow. Look at that. Okay, so we will be back to do the interior of the cabin for our little thing we have going on. And the door. And the door. Door frame, door, hinges, everything. I feel like the bugs are gonna get us. I feel like we need to seal it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's seal it up. Okay, mm -hmm. and cut to that. We're back. Time to build a door, finish the inside, make it perfect. We're gonna pick out some wood for the doors. Uh, for the door frame. For the door frame. The door frame first. Not if we want to do the back, but for the door. Not even to do the door. I swear, every time we're out here, there is an airplane flying over us. There are quite a few airplanes around here. I have enough on the inside to bump our paneling up to and we have to come out past the thickest part of our wall which looks to be right here which is about seven and a half inches so a nice <laughs> eight inch <laughs> door frame. eight inch door frame would be ideal that's crazy so the problem we have 
Because we don't have too many boards that will make 8 inches for 66 inches long. Okay. Placement mode. I think that looks great. You think that looks great? That one on that side. So obviously we're going to have to trim this one because we're not able to bump it against our 2x4. Oh, you mean trim this board? Yep. There you go. I'll get rid of those cracks. Alright. Do you got your safety glasses? Oh, shoot. I always forget them. Can I wear your glasses? I think they're they're uh, making new bugs. Looks like two bugs stuck together. Wow, that was really good, dude. Okay, does it fit in there? Oh my goodness! Let's see. Lovely. Lovely. Precision. Precision. You know, it's definitely more narrow on this side than that side, but I feel like... We won't tell anybody that. That's fine. <laughs> it's just got character. That's right. Look at none of these boards are the same way. That's right. They're all a little special. A little special. Alright. A lot of our blades are dull and dead and are not sharp enough to do great things with because some of the boards in this cabin... Um, were cement form boards. Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. And so there's cement residue on them, and we wanted to recycle them, but it really, even though I scraped it off and like tried to save the blades by getting all the cement off, it still ruined the blades. Must be like cement seeped into the wood. That and we've done a lot of projects with these. Yeah, we have. They're just, they're just done. They're tired. I think that looks really good. Yeah, a little more right here. Well, I mean, it's not perfect, but I don't not think it's perfect. Going, I don't think it's going to be perfect. It's gonna be perfect. Okay. Well. Shout out to Carly for uh, getting us this battery. Wedding gift. Yeah, it's a gift for, from our bridal shower. From my bridal shower. Because we're getting married! Let's try this one more time. <laughs> battery would help. Need a battery? We're going to use this board, cut it down to 8 inches wide and then use little pieces to frame the inside of the arch part of the door. Now we are framing our door before we have paneling on the inside wall. That's not ideal. We're doing that because we need to be able to stay in here in 10 days. So that's why. The Corey's working on the door. I'm going to start working on the inside of the cabin. You can see it's not fully sealed in yet, which is kind of a bummer, but we're gonna work with it um, for, for our little camp out in here. It's gonna basically be like glamping. Um, so what I have is I have some really pretty fabric that I'm gonna drape on the walls um, because we're not gonna be able to put in paneling between now and the day that we're gonna stay in here. 10 days is plenty enough time to do the paneling, but as I'm finishing up graduate school and everything else, um, we just wanna make it easy on ourselves and just make it cute and perfect. So I'm gonna clean out the inside and hopefully start putting up some of that fabric and see if we have enough or if we have to order more between now and then.
that looks perfect to me. Idea. Yeah, that's beautiful. Something like that. That looks beautiful. Now that I slept, we have to take our shoes off at the door. <laughs> yeah, look at how dirty those are. My shoes, yeah. <laughs> Let's just pick the shoes up. Look at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Never ending battle. Those boots are always holding dirt, but I really like them. Yeah. They do. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the fabric and see what we're working with. Hold it up. Oof, this is not enough. So. This Nice piece. I think it's, it's a too short. short. It's a little short, but it not work. Yeah, it looks like it work. It's not great. That looks so good. It's the best I can do is what I'm working with. Okay, so the inside is going to be this really pretty velvet fabric just for now. Eventually we'll put paneling in, but it's really billowy and honestly just really cool in here. We're a little bit short. I think if we get one more of these size, it's five yards of fabric, one more of those, I think we could do that. And that, and maybe even make this prettier. And then we need a door, which we're gonna work on at a different day. Oh, I stepped on a stepped on a tack. Ouch. Yeah. So eventually we'll have those lights. Those are fairy lights. We'll kind of put those back and forth in here too. So we're gonna have lights. But right now it's just like this moody, beautiful, like velvet ceiling. I thought that this was going to be more of a gold. It's kind of a pink or like a burnt orange, but I think it still looks good. What do you think? Looks wonderful. Wow. It's late again. Um, little by little, we're getting this accomplished. The sun's going down. The sun is going down. Good night.